Hello everyone, this is me, Faria Tasnim. Today I'm gonna be sharing the uh, entire painting process with you guys. This painting is entirely from my imagination. So here I am drawing a rough sketch. Uh, it will help when I will paint eventually. So here I am drawing with a pencil. So I am using a canvas. This size is 8 by 6 inch. As I said, I will share the entire painting process as much as I could share with you. I am using cerulean blue to paint the sky now and I'm adding white to it mixing the colors together So I'm adding yellow pink here and mixing the colors together. I'm adding napless yellow and blending the colors together. A painting looks beautiful when the colors are blend, blended well. As I said on my previous art vlog that I will share the final look of this red cottage painting on my next video. So I'm just adding it here. I just love so the when outcome. I was filming this video, a grasshopper just sat on my painting. As my painting was so colorful, so the grasshopper thought maybe the grasshopper thought that it is actual flowers. So it just sat on my painting for a long time and i was also enjoying watching the grasshopper and filming the video for me happiness lies in this little moments so i was starting my day with a cup of tea and uh, when I was shooting this entire painting process, I was reading this book called Reckless from Sydney Sheldon. Started the painting again. I'm painting the bricks now. Um, I'm using the colors burnt amber, burnt sienna. Obviously, I'm using a little bit of black for giving the bricks an uh, orangish reddish look. I have used vermilion.
beautiful flower night wind bloomed on my balcony garden as i like to do gardening also this flower is so beautiful this blooms once a year usually on the month of july and it only stays for a night This is one of my favorite flower this night queen back to painting again i'm using napless yellow here to dividing the bricks and i also used black in some places for dividing the bricks I'm painting a moon on the sky and using only white here. It's a half moon so I just used white here. I'm painting three branches. The color I used here is burnt amber and I also used a little bit of black. So I would like you to take a moment and subscribe to my YouTube channel if you were enjoying watching my videos and click the bell button to stay updated when I upload any new art vlog or any kind of shorts. I hope you were enjoying watching my videos. For those who have came this far in this video, I'm really thankful to you guys for watching this video, the entire painting process. I hope this will help you in any form, any manner. And thank you so much who have already subscribed to my channel and watching my videos. I'm really grateful to you guys. I also have a Facebook page which you can follow and order any kind of art pieces from there. The link is given in the description box. Please do a visit to my Facebook page.
I really hope you will like my artworks and support me. using sap green and I all I have also used black underneath the sap green highlighting the leaves with monastrel green now the fun part of the painting I am painting the cats two cute little cats I have drawn the outline of the cats with a pencil beforehand and I couldn't film that part I'm blending the napless yellow with white Now I'm adding burnt sienna to create the first of the cat. the legs with a mixture of burnt sienna and white
for the years i'm using the same mixture of color Painting the cats were the fun part for me of this entire painting process. I really enjoyed painting this part. Painting the tail with burn sienna and white, a mixture of burn sienna and white and also only burn sienna to give a contrast shadowing effect to the cat's fur and tail. So now I'm highlighting the legs with napless yellow and also highlighting the tails with napless yellow. Creating the legs with burnt amber. Here I am creating the eyes of the cat with burnt amber and a little bit of black. With burnt amber, I'm creating the eyes and detailing the cat with burnt amber.
turned into grey ash. This year, Adenium gave us a heavenly blue. Just see how beautiful these flowers are. They are just flourishing. I just love this plant. So I wanted to share with you guys this heavenly bloom. And here I used yellow, pink and white to create this cat and the force of the cats I'm creating with white. Now I'm painting the ears. I have tried to create the tail as fluffy as possible because fluffy tails looks so cute and beautiful. I'm creating the legs with a mixture of yellow pink and brown sienna. I'm painting some furs and detailing with the same mixture of color. I have used pink to create the ears and the nose of this cat. And now I am painting the eyes in the same manner I have painted the other cat.
so here is something that i wanted to share with you i accidentally put on some dark color in that white cat so i was removing the color instantly with water and with the help of tissue paper you can also use this technique to remove your colors but you should be aware of one thing that the paint is still wet if the paint dries then you cannot remove the color with water or or with the help of a tissue paper if the color dries then you have to create another layer of color above the wrong colors my painting is finished and i am giving my signature i went to a place called cappuccino cat cafe with my friends the place was so beautiful there were so many cats so i decided that why not bringing the canvas painting there and film the final look of the canvas painting with cute cats there i hope you enjoyed this entire canvas painting process with me these cats were so cuddly and i love all of them i just loved all of them they were so cute thanks for watching and please subscribe to my channel if you like my videos